Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this rag bow um, to decorate home decor, put it on a door hanger, um, anything like that. Very easy, um, but I'm going to be showing you step by step what I do to achieve this look. First of all, my materials are, I'm going to be using a small piece of burlap. This is about a nine inch piece of burlap and I'm gonna be cutting it in half. Down the middle. So I have two strips that are about two inches or so. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using a piece of fabric. This is cotton fabric. Um, it's just like a fat quarter, something like that. I found this one at Dollar Tree, I think, um, for $1.25, and it's just white. You can use any fabric that you want. If you want Christmas, if you want um, black and white, whatever colors you choose, um, you can do this method, this exact method. I chose white for my ribbon, for my bow, um, but you can choose any colors you want. And what you're going to want to do is with this little piece of fabric, you're going to want to cut it, cut little about half inch strips. Um, I'm going to need about four or five of them. So I'm going to go ahead and make little slits on my fabric to cut a few strips out. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're just going to rip it off and you're gonna continue doing that. You're just gonna rip every single little piece, okay? Don't worry if you have any um, strings. You just keep ripping. So I have about five. If I need more, then I'll, I'll cut some more out of this, okay? And then you have your little strip like this. And then you're gonna need some uh, Dollar Tree or any kind of lace. Um, I chose this Dollar Tree lace ribbon. It's really, really pretty. Um, and it goes with the colors that I want to kind of, kind of do with the burlap and the white. It just kind of mixes really good. Also, you're going to use a bundle of raffia. You don't need a whole bundle. You just need a few pieces and I think I bought this at Walmart and you're just going to need a few pieces so um, just kind of get you some out. Raffia is kind of messy but it's really pretty. So just get you a few pieces out. You don't need a whole lot. Okay. And then also what you're going to need is a piece of twine doesn't need to be very long. Um, all you need is probably about, maybe about a foot or so. Mine's a little bit longer, but that's what I had already had it cut. So, oh, and then you're gonna need like a button or you can use any kind of embellishment for the middle. Like you can use beads. Um, I thought about using pearls for this. Um, you can use just about anything, a brooch, anything that you have that's like a pretty embellishment for just for the middle part. I like to use buttons because they're very inexpensive and you can usually buy a, a lot of buttons, um, you know, at thrift stores or even, you know, Walmart for very inexpensive. So that's what I'm going to be using. And then that's it. Let's get to it. Now that we have all our materials cut out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my burlap, and I don't mind that it frays like this. I don't mind the, the little fray parts. Um, you're just going to take it, and I'm using my Easy Bow Maker so that it can hold everything. Um, but if you don't have one of these, you can just use your hands or whatever. But I think it's easier just to get it to hold it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch it in the middle and just slide it in there like you would any other messy bow. Pinch it in the middle, and you're just gonna create like a little crisscross. 
I like to use the burlap in the back with my rag bows just because I feel like it gives it a little bit more sturdiness. Um, it doesn't make it um, fall flat as easily because it has something heavier. You can use wired ribbon as well, but I'm using burlap for today. So there's my back and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use my strips. And if you think your strip is a little bit too thick, like this one's almost about an inch, just cut it. Just cut it in half and you can tear it apart again. You can use um, very thin strips or as thick as you want. You can even use them thicker if you want to. Um, so here's mine and I'm just going to place it in there and I'm going to create loops just like if I was using a ribbon. I'm going to do a couple of loops, Let's see. one to each side, and then I'm leaving a tail. Okay. I'm going to do another one. This bow is probably going to be about a six inch, six to seven inch bow, maybe. It might be a little bit bigger, maybe eight, eight inch. For home decor, I really don't like for them to be too big. So um, the finished product is probably, this one is a seven inch bow. So just depending on how big you want it to be, that's how big your loops have to be. Okay, now that I have my fabric laid out, then I want to put some, a little bit of um, lace in there. What I'm doing is just kind of mixing the textures in my fabric, so I feel like this lace gives it good texture as well. So we're doing the exact same thing. Just putting a little, a little loop there. And this one I'm only doing one loop on each side. Okay. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do is the raffia that I got. See these pieces? They're super thick. Um, I'm wanting to kind of break them apart. Just kind of rip them apart so that you have a, a lot of little small pieces instead of just one thick one. I like the little pieces um, better for this. Okay. Just get another piece. And just kind of rip it apart. And you have all these little small pieces. Now what I do is I kind of hold them together and I create some loops with my fingers here. So I'm just gonna hold it together for now because if I set it down on my bow holder, I feel like it, I don't have enough grip on there. So my hand does, does it a little bit better. It grips it a little bit better. Here we go, make a couple of loops there. You're just gonna wanna make a little bundle like this, okay? And now you put it all in the middle of your bow. There we go, just like that. Now you're gonna take more pieces of fabric and lay them down, doing the exact same thing, making loops to each side.
There you go. Just kind of messy. Same thing. I want to layer another little bit of lace on there. For the texture. A little more raffia. Very repetitive, and you can make this as big or as little as you want. Um, as many layers as you want. You can use a lot of different colors of fabric. So since I'm only using white, I'm, you know, only layering it once. But if you have multiple fabrics, you can do several layers of fabric and then add your raffia if you want to or whatever else you're going to add to it. Now I have it all together right here. I feel like this one might need a little bit of tearing apart. Okay. And then you're going to create your loops, your little bundle. There we go. Don't worry about these ends for now. If you can, you can just stick them in, but we're gonna give it a little trim afterwards. Put that in the middle. I have a little bit more fabric left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So create my loops. going to create a lot of threads which if they're loose like that I just throw them away but some of them are still attached and I leave them on my on my um, strip so I like the texture that it gives it so there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and use up all my raffia that's left and just kind of stick it in there as well Make my little bundle. Go ahead and put it in there. And I think I'm going to add a little strip of lace, just a little strip. In the middle. There we go. Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my finger down and with my hand just kind of slide it up. So that I have a gap underneath it and I'm going to take my twine and go underneath it. Wait, I'm going to stick my twine on, up on top. That's what I was going to do. Put it in through the middle and just kind of um, get it from the bottom. It's probably the easiest thing to do. So now that I have both sides with my hand down here now i'm gonna take it out of these little pegs there we go and now i'm gonna turn it and flip it over and i'm just gonna tie a knot pretty tightly so that nothing falls apart there we go there's our bow and then we're gonna fluff it um, we're gonna fluff it and make sure that our tails aren't too thick you know just kind of um, mess with it until you're happy with it I'm 
going to go ahead and cut my tails off because I won't be needing those of twine. That's what the back of the bow looks like. And then just give it a good trim. If anything that, you know, that's kind of sticking out too much, like um, these little pieces of raffia are on there. Just give it a little trim to kind of keep it nice and neat. If you can make a rag bow look neat. Same thing here. Now my burlap is a little bit too long for my bow. I'm going to trim that as well. Because I don't want it to kind of stick out too much from underneath it. So trim that off. And I like to make mine messy. So I kind of pull out a little bit of the strings at the bottom. Okay. Trim some of these long pieces of thread that are sticking out. Check this other side and make sure this one's a little bit longer. I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. Okay. This is a pretty messy bow to make, but it's absolutely beautiful. See how this is kind of a little bit thicker? I just go through and I cut I cut it in half and I just kind of rip it down the middle just to give it a little bit more um, just so it looks a little bit more raggy raggedy just cut some of those thicker pieces Fluff it, keep fluffing. The little rough yoke bundles that you made, just kind of open them up. It makes my nose itch. <laughs> I chose to use a button um, I, I don't know which sides the front um, this side or this side uh, but I kind of like the darker one in my front just because I feel like it gives it a little pop but you can also use the lighter one depending on what you want you can also layer buttons on there and um, you know do it that way but now I'm gonna do the back one and I'm just gonna use my hot glue to attach that button you don't have to use anything in the middle um, but I do I want to so well my glue gun is not working right now Technical difficulties guys I use this cordless um, little glue gun from sure and um, it's really pretty but it sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me it's got the little precision um, little nozzle on here and sometimes it gets gunked up so it's not really my favorite Either way, okay, so I'm not gonna hold you guys up for this. I'm just gonna let y'all see what I would do. So I would just hot glue this button right there to the middle, and that is it. That's all we would do for this messy bow. And you're gonna come up with something like this, and you can use it to embellish any kind of product that you have. 
I'm going to use it to embellish some home decor. But there you go. I need to trim this one. It's kind of long. But this is what I'm going to be using mine for. Let me know if you guys make uh, any of these rag bows. I want to see pictures if y'all do. Um, so just post them on here if you do. Um, I really like these bows. I don't know. I know they're a little bit messy, but I really like them. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. See y'all next time.